Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the OUA Basketball Show. My name is Griffin Porter. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, we were off last week because we were watching the Yates Cup like everyone else, of course, but we are now back and better than ever, and so is OUA Basketball. Three weeks down in the season already, and things are getting exciting. Carlton and Lakehead, they keep racking up the wins over on the men's side. Shout out to friend of the show, Nate Bulamu, for his 27-point performance in the Thunder Wolves' big win against Western. And other games, Waterloo won a tight one against the Blues, 71-70. to That was a good game to watch. And the Gales set a new high mark for points in a game for any team this season with 121 points in their win against Algoma. Meanwhile, the Ontario Tech Ridgebacks looking strong right now as well. Zubair Syed leads the province in points per game at the moment, and the Ontario Tech Ridgebacks are off to a 5-1 and one start on the year. Really excited to see more out of them. On the women's side, we've got a lot of strong basketball to watch lately. Western pulled out a tight 55-52 to win over the TMU Bold, and Brock off to a strong 4-0 start, doing no small heart to the incredible play of friend of the show Madeline Weinert. Meanwhile the Queen's Gales look like they've started to right the ship after a tough start to the season and we all know what kind of program head coach Claire Meadows runs over there don't count them out for very long and the Guelph Griffins are looking just as good as they have in a long time they've been putting up some good wins against quality opponents there's a ton of great teams on the women's side right now and I happen to have a great guest here to talk about another one of them. My guest today, one of the starting forwards for the McMaster Marauders, Cassie Jolie-Cur. Cassie, thank you so much for coming on the OUA Basketball Show. Yeah, no problem. Happy to be here. Yeah, happy to have you here. So when I first reached out to you a couple of weeks ago, we were coming fresh off the heels of your huge 41-point <laughs> game against Laurier. So why don't we start there? Uh, that was one of the great performances in the OUA this season or in the, the last however many seasons uh can you walk me through that night a little bit and just sort of how that developed the way it did as the game went on for sure um I don't know it was it was <laughs> awesome for me I'm not gonna yeah lie. um my teammates were really great at feeding me the ball and we recognized that it wasn't being shut off as an option so we just kept getting the ball inside and it kept being there as an option to shoot and I guess I it was a good night. My shots were going in, and it was yeah, it was so much fun. I was happy, yeah, to, happy to do it. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds fun. That sounds like uh, the most fun you can have out there. Um, yeah, because I I noticed like twenty seven field goal attempts is what really jumps out when you look at that box score. There is that just a case of taking what the defense gives you, or is that like a deliberate game plan? Uh, taking what the defense gave us. I mean, we knew that they were undersized in the post and that, I mean, I am very tall, so I do usually have an advantage, <laughs> but it was definitely just reading what was in front of us. And I think we did it excellently as the box score showed. So. Yeah. And speaking of excellent, uh, the entire team has been excellent all season firing on all cylinders. I know that we are coming off the first loss of the season and that that's always going to sting, uh, but just five and one amazing start. How, how's the vibe? How, how's the team feeling in the locker room these days? It's been great. I mean, our our team works so hard and we work so well together and it's just been so much fun playing with them. Honestly, like I, I enjoy going to practice every single day. I wouldn't trade it for anything. And I mean, losing sucks, but unfortunately that's part of sport. And I think it's going to give us the fire we need moving forward to keep chasing after those wins for the rest of the first half of the season and the rest right. of the I season overall. <laughs> I feel another win streak coming. I can I can tell based on the uh, uh on the fun. A team's got to have fun playing together and um yeah, that's great to hear that uh that everything's clicking right now because you guys are such a deep team, you know, the store the scoring can come from anywhere on any given night as we see when we watch you guys. Of course, your longtime teammate and front court mate Amy is having an amazing season, Amy Stinson. She's number 8 in the OUA in scoring right now. Uh, how like what do you make of your team's plan of attack and just the, the depth that the Marauders have on mm -hmm. full display? I think that we try and focus on our depth like often, like it does come up in team room talk. Like we know that we're all scoring threats and we try and encourage everyone to see themselves as that because that's when we play our best basketball is when everyone is contributing no matter how. So, yeah. Right. And it's really interesting to me, the progression of that team, like in the first season of the show, I got to talk to Sarah Gates who was having 
one of the great seasons in mm-hmm. OUA history. And you guys are led by a coach in Teresa Burns, one of the great basketball minds that Ontario has ever seen in her 31st season coaching McMaster. So she's seen it all and you've seen it all throughout your years. Uh, what was it like sort of adapting a team's play style from one that revolved around a star player to one that's more group focused? Mm-hmm. I think it took a little bit of an adjustment. Like we did have a little bit of a period where we were trying to get all the cylinders going again. But I mean, when you have good people on a team who are willing to work together, like you can make anything work as long as you're you're working hard. So it wasn't too big of an adjustment. I mean, obviously losing Sarah was really difficult for us because she's amazing. <laughs> um, but we made it work and I think that we've come a long way. So it's been pretty awesome. Absolutely. It's been it's been great to watch you guys so far. Uh, what messages are you is the team receiving from coach Burns right now? We're six games into the season, you know, things are starting to sort of settle a little bit into the way that they might look like teams are starting to get the early season jitters out of the way. How, how is the focus shifting right now? And and what's she preaching these days? Like playing our style of basketball always. um, And then also like making sure our focus is on defense because defense fuels your offense and got a good defense unlock. Like defense is what wins championships, not, your offense right so right that's been the message so far okay okay. so so that's interesting that you bring up the style of basketball because mcmaster right now second in all of ontario in total points scored um of course you've played more games than a couple teams but less games than other teams so clearly a big offense is a big part of this team when you think the mcmaster marauders are playing at their best does that involve sort of running teams out of the gym and using your offensive depth. What do you think is the best the best version of this McMaster team? How do they win basketball games? Playing fast. I mean, like you said, we are a deep team. Um, so making sure that we're running the court and like using that speed to our advantage and tiring the other teams out. It's definitely, Dang. that's McMaster basketball at its finest. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's fun basketball right there. That's why everyone should be tuning into this uh, McMaster team because you guys are playing great right now and it's so much fun to watch. Just before I let you go here, Cassie, because I know you're very busy. we got a big weekend coming up. Um, why don't we turn our attention to playoffs? I know I said only six games in. It's still early, but you guys are have had great regular seasons in the past. You're off to a great regular season once again. Uh, what are you trying to build right now for the end of the regular season and the playoffs? Because as we all know, that's that's the real goal there after a couple seasons of great regular season success. Mm -hmm. I mean we're trying to go to nationals so we're going to do everything in our power to get there Um, and that's just going to be a lot of hard work but I mean I think we're all in for it so can't wait for the rest of the season no I I can't wait either the McMaster Marauders one of the most fun teams in the OUA right now big part of that is the great play of Cassie Jolie Curry Cassie thanks so much for taking the time today yeah no worries thank you Thanks again to Cassie Jolicoeur for coming on the show today. Of course, we got to pick our games to watch for the weekend before we get out of here. On the women's side, there's a couple huge ones I have circled, and that is, of course, the Ottawa schools making the trip down to St. Catharines this weekend to take on the Brock Badgers. It's going to be a couple of really tough tests back-to-back for Brock, but these are three teams that all have real Critelli Cup aspirations and a real chance to take home the trophy at the end of the season. Uh, And they're all undefeated right now, but they won't be for long as both Ottawa and Carleton will play Brock this weekend. Those are both going to be must-see TV. Uh, It should be some amazing, amazing games. The GGs play Brock on Friday night, and we get a Sunday afternoon game for Carleton Brock. That's got a 1 p.m. tip-off. Make sure you're locked in for those two games. As for the men, I think we should turn our eyes to Ontario Tech. We talked about them at the start of the show, really off to a great start right now. I'm going to pick their matchups with the Waterloo Warriors as our game for this weekend on the men's side. Waterloo, they've got a solid squad. I like a lot of the players on the Warriors roster, but that's the type of game that the Ridgebacks are going to have to win if they want to keep themselves in that true contenders tier that it looks like they belong in right now. Uh, So we'll see how that one goes for Ontario Tech and Waterloo. Thank you all so much for watching. One more thank you to Cassie Jolicoeur for being a great guest. And we'll see you all next week. Enjoy the games this weekend.